This is the sacred grove. Here, the windows of heaven were opened to Joseph Smith in 1820. On a spring morning, probably a lot like today. In this grove, the father and the son appeared in response to a young boy's prayer. And the windows of heaven are still open, not just to the prophets, but to anyone. You are entitled to receive personal revelation, direct communication with your Father in heaven. All revelation comes through the Holy Ghost. Most of the time it comes as feelings, thoughts, and impressions. Do you ever wonder, how do you recognize when you're receiving revelation? Or, what can you do to prepare yourself to receive personal revelation? To help answer these questions, let's take a look at a story from church history to see how Father in Heaven used revelation to communicate with one of his sons, Oliver Cowdery. Lucy, good morning. How are you doing? In 1829, Oliver Cowdery came to Manchester, New York to teach school and while there boarded in the home of Joseph Smith's parents. <laughs> So you believe your son is a prophet? My son has seen a vision, Mr. Cowdery. He has in his possession an ancient record, and God is revealing his will to mankind once again. Perhaps you may come to know of its import also. My son does have need of a scribe. This is the work of God. Sir, Oliver, what you have told me. Well, I, I cannot suppress my feelings. It has been impressed upon my mind that I should have the privilege of writing for your son. Then you must pray to God and ask him what he would have you do for this work. If God would have you scribe for my son, he will make it known unto you. Oliver had a desire to scribe for Joseph. Revelation rarely comes without first having righteous desires to know and do the will of the Lord. Then the Holy Ghost prompted Oliver to do as Joseph's father had suggested. Oliver acted on that prompting and prayed to find out what the Lord would have him do. Our Father, which art in heaven, My father, which... Oliver did receive an answer to his prayer, and as a result, became the scribe for Joseph Smith. And now, I do not know all things, but the Lord knoweth all th things which are to come. Wherefore, he worketh in me to do according to his will. That will do for today. Joseph, Joseph, what more would the Lord have me do? Could you, could you beseech the Lord in my behalf I would like to know the Lord's will for me. <laughs> yes. Yes, Oliver. I will ask the Lord for you.
Behold, thou knowest that thou hast inquired of me, and I did enlighten thy mind. And now I tell thee these things, that thou mayest know that thou hast been enlightened by the spirit of truth. Cast your mind upon the night that you cried out unto me in your heart, that you might know concerning the truth of these things. Did I not speak peace to your mind concerning the matter? What greater witness can you have than from God? Peace is one form of personal revelation. There are many others. Through the Holy Ghost, our loving Father can send revelations in the form of impressions, thoughts, promptings, remembering, comfort, or even guilt for sin. All can be revelation. Oliver asked if he could translate. The Lord gave him permission and then told him how to receive the revelation necessary to translate. Yea, behold, I will tell you in your mind and in your heart by the Holy Ghost which shall come upon you and which shall dwell in your heart. Now behold, this is the spirit of revelation. Then, sh then shall children, no, no wait, that isn't correct. no use, Joseph. I try. The words don't come. Why? Why was I only able to translate a few words? I don't know. Have I sinned? Maybe I just don't understand what's required of me. Joseph, will you pray for me again? Oliver, like many of us, just assumed that revelation would come without effort on his part. Through the prophet, the Lord oh. told Oliver, Behold, you have not understood. You have supposed that I would give it unto you when you took no thought save it was to ask me. But behold, I say unto you that you must study it out in your mind. Then ask me if it be right. And if it is right, you shall feel that it is right. But if it be not right, you shall have no such feeling. In section six, Heavenly Father outlines what we have to do to receive revelation. We have to ask knock, desire, inquire. We have to put forth some thought and effort. If you don't ask a specific question, how can you expect the Lord to provide answers? No matter what form revelation may take, a feeling, thought, impression, words, even a vision. If we have righteous desires and are willing to ask, seek, knock, and inquire, our Father in Heaven will reveal His will to us. That is His promise. He did it here, and He will do it in your life as well.